Hi everyone, so today we're gonna look at how big are the BZ Beaver numbers. So as you know, I already have made uh, several videos on the BZ Beaver actually. It's a pretty famous function in Googleology. Uh, you can watch those videos first or you can also Google it or look it online yourself. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna explain too much how the function works. And anyway, uh, let's get started uh, on how big are the numbers basically. So first of all, of course, the BC Beaver, well, in this video, I'm going to write it as BBN, which is a one of the most famous uncomputable function in Googleology. And an uncomputable function means there's no algorithm to compute it. And it can be shown that the BC Beaver grows faster than any computable function, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later in the video. So the definition is basically um, for BBN, for the output, is basically means the maximum number of ones that can be written with an end state two color holding uh, Turing machine starting from a blank tape before halting. So it's related to the halting problem, which is uh, famously known to be uncomputable. I mean, it cannot be computable. Um, and now let's look at the values of the BC Beaver numbers. So BC Beaver numbers are basically the numbers generated by the BC Beaver function. And let's look at how big they are. So BB1 is one, BB2 is four, BB3 is six. So at this point, it seems like nothing is there pretty small numbers. And three, three, of course, is much, much, much bigger than Busy Beaver three. So as you can see, it doesn't grow very fast at first, um, but that doesn't mean it's not a fast growing function. It grows faster than three in the long run. So you have to look at the long run, not just the, you know, the small n. So if a function is faster than another function, which means in the long run for big enough, for large enough n, it's bigger than the other function, the output of n for the same n, if it's n is large enough. So BB4 is 13, still not that big. And BB4 is the basically the last number that is proven that can be shown to be exactly 13. And BB5 is known to be at least 4,098. And this is not proven yet, even though most people believe that's the answer, but it's not completely confirmed. And then BB6 is known to be greater than 10 double over 15, so it's pretty big already. And probably much bigger than this. Again, starting from BB5, it has never been proven. And we don't even know if it can be proven or not because it requires many, many steps and many, many Turing machine that needs to be checked. Um, BB, and then we just skip a lot of uh, N and all, we skip all the way to BB16, which is known to be greater than Graham's number already. Um, uh, and then BB85, we skip some more numbers. It is known to be at least greater than F is the uh, fast growing hierarchy, F of epsilon naught 1907. So it's pretty big, but I don't know. Um, it could be a very weak lower bound again. And then lastly, we reach Busy Beaver 748. And this number actually, some people said it is greater than any computable numbers generated from any computable function. So BB 748 is, in other words, is much, much, much greater than 33, SEG 13, or even Loader's number or any numbers generated, for example, from the chain arrow notation, the uh, the B, B, A, F, um, even tree of tree of tree of tree of tree of tree, three with uh, tree three number of trees, something like that. The reason for that, I mean, why is it so huge um, is because uh, here's the explanation. So a 748 state Turing machine, which is this thing over here, whose behavior here cannot be proven based on the usual axiom of the ZFC set theory. You can look that up, what that is yourself. And BC Beaver 748 is otherwise, you know, on the, I mean, therefore is unprovable or undecidable in the ZFC, which means it cannot be proof that whether this trading machine holds or not. And which means BCB for 748 is undecidable in the ZFC as long as it is consistent. And since most 
people or mathematicians believe the CSE is consistent, that means this number is unprovable and undecidable. In the other words, for BBN, for N greater than or at least 778, the values of this BBN cannot be known or can probably never be known. Uh, it's just separated or independent of the CFC set theory. And lastly, so we I told you about that it grows faster than any computable function. First of all, it's uncomputable. That's already proven. Uh, or you can look it up online. Why is it un, uh, uncomputable? Because it can be shown to be faster than, grow faster than any computable function. So for, that's why it cannot be a computable function. And it related to the um, whole thing problem, which is also uncomputable. And also, we know the fact that this is, again, from online, from Google, a computer function is, uh, is a function that always holds and gives an answer. So let's say tree or gram, the G sequence. Uh, if you put a finite n, a natural number n, it will always hold and gives an answer, even though it takes a very, very long time and memory and storage space, but it will eventually hold and gives an answer. But that is not the case for the BCB for, and that is one of the reasons why, or at least in layman terms, why the BCB for grows faster than any computable function. Because let's say for this, in this case, eventually for big enough N, you cannot prove that it holds. It may go on forever, we don't know, it cannot be proved in the ZFC set theory. And this is how big the uh, busy beaver numbers are. So I know you probably have a lot of question or disagreement, but anyway, feel free to leave down in the comment section. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.